Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. So, in today's episode, we are making a super epic OP kelp farm. This thing is completely zero tick, and it produces so much kelp, it is unbelievable. Again, you're probably not going to need any other design bigger than this as far as kelp goes. Kelp is one of those things that grow really fast, so you're going to get a hell of a, a lot of kelp, okay? So, before we start the video, go ahead and click that subscribe button again if you're liking the content i'm producing smash that like button if you want information regarding realms best place to get me is on the discord however failing to have discord you can always add me on the twitter or the insta jam and i'll be happy to get back to you there so yeah like i said i've tested this um machine and it is so so good like it produces so much and in very little time um, I'd go so far as to say, like, it produces more than the other things that we can make zero tick, like sugarcane, cactus, bamboo. It produces way more than that. I have no idea why. I think it's in the growing rates of kelp. But that being said, like I said, let's not waste any more time and get straight on to this video. So, basically, the items you are going to need for this build are as followed. A hopper, two chests, you're going to need a half slab, you're going to need 13 blocks of choice, one redstone repeater, you're also going to need a sticky piston, bring yourself along 64 glass, although you won't need all of that, bring yourself along four redstone pieces, one normal piston, you're also going to need three redstone torches, one lever, also bring three pieces of sand, two buckets, and obviously a piece of kelp to get this thing running. So, once you've got all of the materials required, first of all, what we're going to do is simply make this pattern of blocks. We're going to have two on the floor and then two like above it, um, leaving one here. And basically, we're going to put one above that block and then one behind it and then remove the middle block like so. And that is where our clock's going to sit. So, off here, what we can actually go ahead and do is we can get our half slab. And, well, first of all, we'll get a solid block, place it there. Um, and then get our half slab and place it just there. And that is step two complete. So, step three it is very simple. It doesn't get much simpler than this. So, we're going to go to the back. We're going to place a block next to that half slab. We're then going to place another block on top of that block and remove the bottom block, okay? We are then going to grab our redstone torches and we're going to make ourselves a torch tower, bringing the redstone signal all the way up. And this is where our non-sticky piston is going to go. Um, well, I'll show you exactly where the piston is going to go very soon. But again, I don't think I'm going to be able to jump to get this on. So you might have to, um, in turn, build yourself like a little platform with some holder blocks or something. Um, just so you can get that top torch on like myself. Again, let me just destroy that there we go so next step super super easy we want a block next to that top block that we've just placed and that's exactly where we're going to place our piston facing forwards like so and that is going to be the, the foot like the front of the farm um where the kelp is obviously being harvested into so then we can get our sticky piston place it down here and also place two blocks solid blocks on top of that piston now this design is very very similar to the cactus farm um, and the bamboo farm actually but it's not exactly the same uh, now it's time to obviously do the clock you want to place a lever on that front block a torch underneath that lever and then you want to grab your redstone repeater do not put it on the floor like i did and simply place it in between those two blocks there from here, you want to grab yourself your redstone dust and under the block next to the repeater, place a piece of redstone dust there. You will also need to place a piece of redstone dust on top of that half slab. And that's exactly what we are going to do. So, like I said, you're going to need to place a piece of dust on top of that half slab, just like so. And that will, in turn, activate your top piston um once obviously you have connected it up with redstone and that's exactly what we are going to do now obviously i built this a little bit too high to the ceiling so make sure you give yourself enough room if you're building it in a confined space like myself 
and then we can just go ahead and place those two pieces of redstone just there super easy super simple so then you can get rid of any holder blocks that you might have had like no polling up there or whatever make sure you keep this build clean and then we'll grab our three pieces of sand. Uh, one of them is going to go in front of the sticky piston. And then the other two pieces are going to go on the neck of the sticky piston. Again, like I said, this is very similar to the bamboo farm that we built recently. But it's just a little bit different. Then, like you've just seen, you can place your double chest and hopper on the front like so. Again, you will need a double chest. A single chest is not going to cut this um, as you get so much production from this farm. Okay, so from here we can actually start sealing this bad boy up with some glass. Now, you, um, in regards to sealing it up, you want to make sure that you've got every single gap possible, okay? So you don't want any water spilling out because spillage is a big bad and we really, really don't want any big bags in Simply Survival, okay? So make sure that you have got every single area that could possibly leak out water um, filled up and again i'll show you um, exactly where we're going to put the water after but right now all you can do is um, place the glass exactly where i'm placing it and this should be okay in regards to sealing up your actual chamber so none of the water can so we basically don't get any spillage we do not want any spillage guys okay spillage is really bad so um, as you can see i've done mine a little bit too high but we can just cram it in um, again you want to come around to the back and place some glass on the side of that piston on those bits also do it on both sides and then come right to the back of the piston as well and then you'll have one gap there now you can put a piece of glass there but what i like to do is actually place it directly under the piston and that won't affect this contraption at all in any way so then you're going to need to get on top of the build and we're going to actually start placing our water sealing the roof off and actually placing our kelp so here you want to put three pieces of glass on the back i mean i definitely choose to put um, a few pieces because you don't you know you don't want to be stingy with your glass at this point because remember if we get any spillage we're going to have problems right so then what we're going to need to do we're going to have a source block of water on that bottom piece of sand okay and then the next source block of water is going to go above the piston that's very important not on the piston above the piston and that is basically the farm complete again you'll have to put a little roof on your farm um, made out of glass but that's super simple so finally sorry it's not quite complete we can actually place our kelp and then we can seal it up and start it up and literally go afk for a little bit because i actually want to show you the crazy rates that this produces okay so basically we can turn this thing on now and what i'll do is just double check that you've got everything built right because and obviously sealed up from that water because you really really do not want any spillage and look at that already we've got about 20 and it's been literally about 20 seconds not even that i mean this thing must produce at least two kelp every second i'm i'm not even lying so what i did is i went and shaved my head again um and it took me about 15 minutes this is no word of a lie i spent about 15 minutes doing some other stuff and i went completely afk on simply survival just to see how much this kelp farm produces and i kid you not this is one of the most powerful zero tick farms i've ever seen this thing for saying it's a single piston pushing farm it's got a full double chest and let me just check the hopper and we've also got some in the hopper as well. This thing is crazy, guys. Honestly, if you haven't built this in your world already, you need to build this. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into an XP farm. Because obviously, we basically, I show, uh, showcased an XP like glitch. But um, it, it turns out it's not actually um, a glitch. It's an intended feature of the game. Now, anyone will tell you that. So, um, in turn, we're going to make a super epic xp farm but that is literally the end of today's video well it is nearly the end first of all we have got to do one thing but um i did want to say a massive thank you to every single person who's been subscribing liking my videos you know just supporting my channel it literally really does motivate me to keep going keep pushing the content out again i've been doing daily uploads for quite some time now so hopefully i'll keep that going throughout the year again i'd love to get to say 50,000 subs before the end of the year it might be pushing it but you know you've got a dream right your dream you got to have those dreams and you've got to make those dreams come true again 
I am going to be posting content every single day. Maybe I'm going to miss a day here and there. It depends what sort of content I'm working on. But I want to try and produce better content and make better videos for you lot. But before we actually finish this video, we need to do one main thing, right? We need to feed Mac. We haven't fed Mac in this entire video. I'm, I think I haven't fed him since the last stream that we did, which is really bad. So, again, now he's all fed up. But that is pretty much the end of the entire video. Again, I know I keep saying it, but I want to say a massive thank you to everybody. And I will catch you on the next one.